it's going to be about support, playing the support role. There's several heroes who can play this role. It's not limited to any one hero or any. Feel the chill. It's not even limited to just int heroes alone. As a yes. support hero, you should always buy a carrier first. I highly recommend Prepare it. Your battle. team needs it. Always buy a carrier. For this guide, I am not buying a carrier in the beginning because obviously I have no teammates here. Uh, for the purpose of this, I am going to be buying just wards. So I can show you where to place them. Swift as the walls of Ithrak. Basically, as a support, you have I several move. roles. One is to protect your carry. Your carry needs to farm, get as many last hits as you can. I thought as much. Um, whether he's melee or range, he is safer at the tower. By basically being at the tower, you're preventing the other team from initiating because the tower to protect you early on. Most more than likely, they're not going to they're not going to dive you. And also, top or middle won't be able to gank as easy if you're down here. Neutral creeps spawn every 30 seconds, or they spawn at the 30 second mark Agreed. of the beginning of the game, and then from then on out, they spawn at the one minute mark. The trick is with neutral creeps, if there is no vision there and no creeps there at the one minute mark, one minute, two minutes, so on, they spawn again. So basically how it works is, I'm going to show you guys here how to pull, which basically pulls the neutral creeps from here down to here so that um, you deny these creeps XP. So the team does, the, your come. creeps die to the neutrals, your team gets full XP, and you keep your carry here at the tower. Faster. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to come up here just for a little bit here and show you something. Swiftly. Basically, here's the neutral creeps. Um, we know that at the one minute I'll mark, they're going to spawn. You see their creeps coming right now, I could actually pull. However, I do Let's not go. recommend pulling without stacking at least one time first. Swiftly. The reason behind that much. is it denies the creep wave much faster. Um, where if you did not, I'll not argue. The reason behind this is if you did not stack it and pull it. Your neutral creeps, or your, your creeps actually kill the neutral creeps, and then you'll have your wave, and then another wave coming at once, so you'll be double waving, and then your lane will actually get pushed. So that's, you know, it beats the whole point. You don't want to push your lane, and you want your neutral creeps, you want your creeps to die to the neutral creeps, so that they get no XP. If the neutral creeps actually, Faster. even if their hero is over here, and Here the I neutral come. creeps get the last hit on it, as long as you can prevent them from getting the last hit, then they get no ah. XP whatsoever for those creeps. Forward. Now these are stacked. So we're going to come up here, make sure they're stacked. Yep, they're stacked. Yes. Now, we see this wave right here, it's coming. When the wave gets to this tree line, this is when you want to pull, hit these creeps. Down you go. And then you want to bring them down like this. They're going to run straight into them. Swift as the walls of ice rack. Now watch what's going to happen. You see the wave house over here? Okay? Into the breach. You know the waves over here. Watch, I'm not going to even attack. I'm going to walk Basically, you would try to last hit this. I move. But you're going to see this whole wave will die. Now, your carry would be over here. He would hit the creeps. He would bring them further back so the tower wouldn't be hitting them. He'll be getting the last hits. As you see, this entire wave has just died to neutral creeps. And it's still stacked. To battle. So now I can do another pull as well. The, the opposite lane has just lost a whole wave of creeps. You're now a whole wave ahead. Let's go. So now this wave is coming. I come up here. Agreed. Let's see if I can make it in time. 
I don't think I'm only gonna get a partial pull, I think. Let's go. But basically that's the whole point. Is you're denying you wanna deny them XP and keep them at your life. Here I come. That's the whole idea of stacking and pulling. Um that's the early game ah. stacking, late <laughs> game stacking. If you're going by any of these lanes and you're like, Oh Sweet. hey, look, I'm running by, I'm running by Oh look, it's almost a one minute mark. My carry needs to farm, so yeah. maybe when he gets some time, he would come over here and he would kill these creeps. Well, it'd be better if they were Swift stacked because he'll get more money. So as I'm w running by, I should go stack these for him. So now when Agreed. he comes by, there's two ways. If he has a battle, you know, battle fury, you kill that much faster. That's more gold I per minute he much. has for him and more efficient money for him. So anytime you're passing by a wave, you should not kill creeps. You should stack Into them the for breach. your team. <clears throat> now I'm going to go to the warding here, guys. Just a quick overview of Test. warding. Uh, warding you should almost always place on a heal. Uh, Dota 2, uh, Val basically has made in Dota 2 some popular ward spots they have marked with this eye. For newcomers, if you see this eye, more than likely this is a good spot, depending on what team you're on. Like, this is a good ward spot if you're on this side. But if you're on this side, you should not place a ward there. This ward is a good spot, like I said, if you're on the opposite side, mainly for the I'm fact that it shows you this area here. Because if you're on the Legion side, you don't need to see this area. You want to see their side of the river. Yes. Now, it's the opposite if you're on this side. You don't want a ward here. You don't want to see your own area. You want to see their area. Ah. Now, most people will ward this area right here. Okay? This is where most people ward. It's not a bad spot. It does show you this area here. Now, it is it, it is a good spot. However, there's a, in my opinion, there's a much better spot that's not really known as much to the community. Alright, and this is going to be one of those spots. Now, this war spot is very, very good. Okay? It shows you the ruin. It shows you the, the entrance to the ramp. It shows you this whole entrance here. This whole entrance here. You see all these entrances here that you have vision for if you're on the opposite team? You can see them going to the rune before they're even close. So you can counter that. Swiftly. And Luke, I will. I sure will. Um, this is one of those good Faster. ward spots. It's very great. Now, I'm going to show you guys another spot. Most people, if you play Dota 1, you may know it as the Magic Bush, right? Swift Basically, this is a ward spot that's very good if you're trying to... Uh, I'll not argue. If you are basically trying to counter to a jungle, let's go. How you do this here is you move up to the point. Let's see. Agreed. To battle. And it yes. is. Here. Basically, this right here will stop you from spawning both these camps. It gives you vision of this camp and this camp, and it counters junglers. On. This is a very good ward spot. Another good ward spot on the other team is placing it here, so you're on the hill. So it shows you this area, this area, Into and so the on. <coughs> now I'm going to show you some underward spots on the other side of the river. Forward. Actually, I am going to show you one more good ward spot here if you're playing an aggressive area. Another good ward spot is right here if you're on the scourge side for the fact that it shows you this whole entrance way and this whole entrance way. I only recommend here using this spot in certain situations depending on your team makeup and how aggressive your team is. I move. Yes. All right. See so now you see this eye. This eye is a good spot if you're on the opposite if you're on the skirt side. However, oh. if you're not on the skirt side, I do not recommend doing this cuz you don't want to see your own area. 
you want to see their area. Your middle tower is now, under attack. Now, a good thing here is you want to place the ward over here. Let's go. Okay. The reasoning behind this is most people place the ward here. And this is an okay spot, but it's just Forward. you want to get all the bang for your buck. All, all, all the money for you, you can. And so this ward here shows you the rune just like you want it to do. It shows you this ramp over here, this ramp, this ramp, and it shows you this area here. So if they were attacking these neutrals, you would know about it. You can go then you know to set a gank. If I'll you not were argue. Pudge, you could hook over here. If you're pot you could set up an arrow. By seeing this, this is huge. Agreed. Now, I want to show you some other spots over here that are very good. This spot here. It's very, very good. Cast as you it. I'll place a ward up here, as you guys can see. It's gonna give you quite a bit of vision. To battle. Now look at all this vision you have. You see this neutral creeps? You would, you would see them come over attack. here because of this vision. Swift as the walls so you would know what they're doing here. But now having these two wards set up, you now see this camp, this camp, and this camp. So now you're just, Swiftly. if they were to jungle, you could easily counter them. So these are, so now you guys know a couple good ward spots to counter the jungle. Into the breach. I see, I see so many people that get stomped by I like lichens and stuff because they're lichens all over the place now pubs because he just jungles farms and does really good oh. and everyone's like oh there's nothing we could do he's jungling blah 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 dude there's so much you could do with these wards here you're stopping war camps from spawning Cast you know where he's going to be at and you can counter kill him every time shut down his farm I thought as much those are huge war spots um there's also you know s there's there's other war spots that are situational yes. Like I said, you could place a ward here inside the camp to stop the camp from spawning so they can't pull. Forward. But now that you guys know this stuff, you should also know that counter warding is just as huge. You should know that Let's you go. should counter their w You know, if you were on the Legion side, you know that they're most likely going to ward here. So then you put this er, uh, sentry ward here, and then you would I'll kill their ward. Fast. And you would do this... The main times you want to do are both the rune spots because those are the most common areas. <coughs> so there's these are some just decent ward spots. Um, this is not like showing you every ward spot. There are other ward spots. These are just the most popular ones. I'll not argue. Uh, these are the stacking. There are pulling. There's different ways to do different things. Th I'm just showing you guys the most Swiftly. basic way to do these things. This is knowledge every Dota 2 player Here should know. Whether you're playing a support, huh? whether you're playing a carry, uh, a semi-carry, a Your tank, tower is under all of this knowledge needs to be known. You should know where the ward spots are, where to counter ward, how to pull, and how to stack. If you don't, you're Into gimping, not only you're gimping yourself and preventing yourself from getting better, you're gimping your team in so many ways. I highly recommend that you go in and learn this as best you can. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I will come up with a lot more guides here soon. I'll try to get a more written guide out with, with screenshots to go with the video. But for now, this is what I got. Uh, if you have any feedback on ways I can improve these guides, please just leave a message underneath the video and I'll do as best I can to update these. Thank you.